All righty. Well, welcome back, everyone, to D and D Blender. Um, today we only have uh, three of the four players, as uh, Georgia is uh, out dealing with real life issues. But for today, we have Leash as Roosh. You can duck down. If you know. There she is. Uh, we have Indy as Mick the Mech. You can pop in if you want to. No, no, your head didn't keep going. There she is. And we have James as Mendel, if he's going to bother about doing the same thing. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, that's cr cr cross legged's much more difficult. <laughs> oh, yes, come on. Get, get, get leaning! Get leaning! Uh, in our last session, the group uh, continued their descent down into the Forge of Fury. Mendel, um, slipping on his ass on some wet moss, tumbled down a waterfall and into the area where the group finds themselves now. The rest of the group followed suit by taking the stairs. Yes, um, sensible people. <laughs> rec recovering uh, their fallen comrade, they uh, continued their... Uh, exploration of this particular area of the um, the forge, finding a disappointing storeroom, and then making their way into a series of prison cells where they discovered a corpse of a dwarven soldier uh, in rusted armor where they recovered a key. Finding this place to be relatively safe, they decided that they would secure themselves here for the night and take a long rest. And that is where the group finds themselves now. Uh, you all come to consciousness after having your rest. Mick uh, had lo uh, magically locked and secured the main door with an alarm spell and a... Um, whatever the word is I'm looking for, the ma the magic lock spell. Uh, arcane lock. Okay. That's the word I was looking for, thank you. Close enough, magic lock, arcane lock. Um, as you all come to consciousness, you find that Nyssa has vanished. And you find that the door is locked and the alarm hasn't been triggered, so something... Obviously, has occurred to her, but uh, you again. Yes. <sighs> All right. So the day is yours. What would you like to do? <clears throat> um, this might creep you out a little bit. The last night, this morning, part of my meditations over that. I learned how to talk to dead people. Ooh. So uh, let's ask about where that key comes from. <laughs> um, and I will sort of collect the skeleton into a corner and sort of mm -hmm. stack the bones so it can Well, he's still, he's still stacked. He's still in, in yeah. pieces. Right. Um, oh, then... no, he's not. He's, he's shattered because Mick searched the body and just picked it up and shook it. So collect all the bones. <laughs> collect all the bones. Hey, I forgot about that. And, so yeah. Uh, reorganize it, and then I will cast... Speak with Dead. Speak with Dead. All right. So, you cast Speak with Dead, and you see the bones begin to animate. Goes, oh, speak your questions. What brought you to your death in this room? I ran out of food. <laughs> Starved. What does this key do? Unlock the... Shit, I need to word my questions better. Sorry? I need to unword my questions <laughs> It unlocks the door to the foundry level. down here, but then I found that the door locked on the outside and I couldn't get out. 
What were you hiding from? From the orcs that were attacking. Perhaps the next <clears throat> question might also be behind which door we can find the forge or where the forge is. Can you give us directions to the forge from here, please? Ah, you head out and down and back up one level and then you take a right and it's the big iron door at the end of the Glitterhaven. You can't miss it. <clears throat> where all the clickers are. No, I think that <clears throat> he's talking about the um, the door that we were all up in the big room. Where the clickers are. Were there clickers in there? Oh, yeah. I thought, we were, I thought there was the tentacle thing. Remember that big iron door that I wanted to go through? Yeah, yeah that one. Ah. Pile of bones, thank you. I should have asked you what your name was. <clears throat> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes back to sleep. <laughs> As he goes, he goes, thanks for putting me back together. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, what did he call it? The glitter? The spelt G-L-I-T-T-E-R-H-A-M-E. Glitter Hame. H-A-M-E. Wait, does anyone know where Nissa have gone to? Nope. <laughs> Probably snuck out during the night. There's been this weird thing happening to us where someone will disappear and then come back as if they've never disappeared before. And it's happened a few times and I wouldn't be surprised if this is what's happened to Nissa. I couldn't tell you why. The person who could tell you isn't here and hasn't come back. And it's sad. And it's sad. Well, I mean, to be fair, Zara's was uh, taken by something else. Wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Zara's went willingly with the big clockwork thing, but um, I'm sure there's more to it. A sloth. Spells. Mm -hmm. Spells. Very good. All right. So, where would you like to? Well, you have a direction. Um, so, we can either continue fussing around down in the lower floors and finding things, or we can go to the place that we actually need to get to. Oh, look at me, look at your companion. <laughs> Assuming we can get out that door, because apparently the door locks from the outside, so I don't know if he's talking about the cell door or the outside door to the cells. Well, when you found the cell door, it was locked. Outside door. This Okay, let's go. <laughs> go where, though? Out. <laughs> out to where? Do we want to go back up to where those clickers are? Because that's where we need to go eventually, or do we want to finish exploring this this downstairs area? There could be interesting or important or useful things down here. Dwarven fortresses. Pretty cool, from what I've read. I could gather supplies. Yeah. Hopefully we don't find more disappointing yes. rooms, but... Yes. Vanda. Hmm? Can I get you to close your book for two seconds? I want to ask your opinion on something. I'll ask away. Should we continue in the lower floors and see what we can see, or should we go make a beeline for the forge? I'm here for the forge, I don't know about this other place. <laughs> well, it's a dwarven ruin, so there's always going to be, I would think, Things of interest in a I think the things of interest are more likely to be, you know, near the major thing that we're here for. Okay, 
So that's one for the forge. What do you want to do? I want to uh, search the ruins. God damn it. I need Nissa so she can be the type of girl. <laughs> <laughs> what does Boss want to do? Boss wants to sleep and have second breakfast. Which requires not moving at all. But, you know, Boss doesn't always get what Boss wants. <laughs> <laughs> um... If we are to go to the forge, we have to get past those clickers. Mendel. If we're going to go to the forge, we have to get past the clickers. Done that before. Easy enough. There weren't as many of them last time. By about, well, I don't know, 20 less last time. And they're attracted to noise, yeah? Yeah. That's fine. For you, maybe. <sighs> I will wonder. The boss. <laughs> great, that makes the two noisy ones are going to look out for each other. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried just, like, I not being noisy for once? I cannot. Chink. Be noisy. <laughs> Have you tried, like, I don't know, taking the noisy stuff off? Where am I going to put it? In a bag? I don't have a bag that big. I do. You've been holding out on me all this time? Been carrying all this shit? Uh, I don't carry a lot. Sure, I guess I could take the armor off. I'm feeling less comfortable with the idea of going straight to the forge. I want to look at the lower levels, I think. <gasps> are you going to come with us, or are you going to stay here, or what are you going to do? Well, I don't have much of a choice. I'm not sticking around here by myself. Okay. But we got a job to do. We do. Let's see if we can find his, some historical artifacts to take back to town. <laughs> I think the people of the town would be far more interested in, I don't know, the leader of the town coming back. She's not responding. Have you thought that maybe she doesn't want to? I have. And I asked her about that, but she didn't respond. <laughs> <laughs> Mandel. We've, we knew what the clickers were because we've come across them before. She wouldn't have. What if she's a clicker now? What do we do about that? Well, we can always kill everything and then ask questions later. You prove that right now. Yes. Yes, I did. So, what's the problem? There's a lot of them. Yeah. Like, I don't think you quite understand how big that cabin was and how full of clickers it was. Did you see how many there were? I couldn't see across the whole cabin. How do you know there's that many then? Could be echoing. You live underground. Everything's creepy down here. No, but like the click is especially creepy. Well, I'll give you that. Um, alright. This map is not like what I drew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to show on the camera, we can just see, you can show everyone what your, uh, your map design for this level was without the uh, the help of the actual map. Uh, that's what I've drawn yeah. so Lift far. it up, like, face it up to the... There we go. So that's the waterfall into the pool with the tunnels and we found a bridge, 
and then we found a path and another bridge and then we found the room of disappointment yeah. and then we found the staircase the and room some of disappointment. Yeah. It's pretty, honestly that's not bad I will I will say that you know for, I, for, I need to make some adjustments yeah for, for basic <laughs> descriptions of what we were what we were having to deal with that's that's pretty good but okay so uh, the yeah so the question still is what are you heading off to the the unexplored unexplored yes. areas yep. yes. All right. All right. So you make your way to the door, and you find it is still locked. Unlock. With what? My pistols. Okay. So you're going to pick the lock that you created magically. Yes. <laughs> Don't you know the magic word to unlock it? Yes. Unlock. <laughs> <laughs> the future. Alright, so, like I said, put some dice on the map so you can see where you guys are. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose the dice really would aren't you, like different you, than the size of the miniatures. Would you like something with more contrast? Yeah, that's fine. I can glitter, see. glitter silver. Yeah, it's all good. I can use gold if you prefer. Stack. Um. Alright. Uh, as soon as... Uh, you step through the door, Rouge. Mick, in your head, you hear. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, you know, I alarm. Yeah, you didn't disable the alarm spell. Uh. You just stepped through it. <laughs> disable spell. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh. Are you okay, Mick? I do not like loud noises. I like making noises. What loud noises? noises. I didn't hear that. You only you heard it. It's, it's actually in your head. Oh. Yep. How could you not hear that? Uh, <laughs> well, quite easily. There's just like some loud water noise. running down there. But um. Um, and one thing you do notice that you didn't notice previously is um, blocking your path now is a large stalagmite. Was that there yesterday? No. Uh. <clears throat> Cast sacred flame on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like trying to prepare my spell. <laughs> uh. If this is one of those dangly, wiggly things, I want it to go away. Yeah, I probably, I would have probably gotten my um, my gun out ready as yeah, well yeah. for that. She says, "Look, look." And as soon as you cast Sacred Flame, an eye opens up on the... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hang on, so peel... So we'll peel the map off, just quickly. Um. Need to get some better models for our characters, James. Hmm. Okay, so this is the the river, it's flying that way. That's the door you guys have just come out of. Oh, except I don't get that ability as a as a as a as a, an artificer. And get one half of the two trick wonder. <laughs> just not the second half. The two trick wonder. Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> Leash does exist. Do I, do, I, do I want to know? This is the thing that drives Ed bonkers. All oh, right. It's the wombo combo of mages. Yep. The wombo combo. All right. Yep. The wombo combo. Oh. Um. <gasps> no, wait. They do get it. Ah. Ha. Ah, 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 ah. You're in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rope. Um. Wait. Hi guys! <laughs> Hi guys! Hi guys! I'm here to give you a hug. So. No hugs. <laughs> no hugs. Yes, yes, hugs time. Come on. No hugs. Yes, give me uh, a hug. Dexterity saving throw. <laughs> uh, yes, one moment. Let me just get the... The card for the Roper. Dirt Sturder. Dirt 
Uh, that's a five plus uh, negative one, so four. <laughs> <laughs> And then initiative from everyone, please. Uh, <laughs> three radiant damage. I three radiant really, damage. really, really well. Nice. Thanks, Sarah. Oh, no, it's initiative. It's about seven. So what's your initiative bonus? No, it was eight, but it was minus. Oh, minus one, so seven. Okay, cool. <laughs> Six. Fifteen. Seven. I'm just slow. And Del. Like my Actually, that's why having um, rank two of bard so wonderful because you can add half proficiency to your. Uh, mm, you get jack of, jack of all trades. Ability check. All right. Um. Cool. You're up first, Rush. Do that again. Okay. Go away. <laughs> Uh, 17, 16. Uh, passes. Okay. My, uh, check isn't that high. Uh, do you wish to move or do anything else? Or you um, from memory it has lots of tentacle things that come out and grab us. It does have many tentacles, yes. Um, I'm gonna hitch right a little bit and block Mandel from you, so Mandel can stick his head out the door and fire around my shoulder. Very good. Alright, the Roper goes next. I should have gone inside the door. Shut the door. (laughs) So, goodbye! Uh, Move it ten feet towards uh, you, please. Cool. Um, and then it is going to attempt to grab you. So it makes four attacks with its tentacles. Uh, ooh, I don't think any of those are going to hit. Uh, Crossing tendrils, that is tendrils. Or am I doing this wrong? Makes four attacks with his tendrils, uses real. Oh no, it's just a grapple check. It's a, it's a seven and a half, half foot reach, so are you in range? Yeah. Technically? Alright, so it's, it's going to try and get you with all of the. Yeah. So just make um, uh, escape checks. So using your athletics or your. How many? Four. Four. Yeah. I prefer to use my AC, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So actually, look at this. For for its grab, it doesn't actually use a tax for it. It's just a, an escape check. Well, there's a four and a five. What am I adding to it? Uh, what uh, athletics or acrobatics? It's whatever you want to do to escape from a grapple. Uh, uh, so I have a 18, a 12, and 7, and a 6. Okay, so it, it grappled you three times. I would right. prefer to use my AC. It only gets one. <laughs> right, so then it's going to reel you. Uh-huh. So, it's gonna, so you're now pulled directly in front of it. And then it's going to do its bite attack. Which it fails. So you're now grabbed by it, saying, ah, trying to eat you, but it's not, not having any luck. All right, well, that's it for it. <laughs> I'm just like trying to eat the food out of a tin can. Yeah, the yeah, just off. trying to. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Mick, you're up. There you go. Visualization. <laughs> So you see um, Rouge get grabbed and yanked up into the air, and this thing is going, ah, 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 and sort of chewing on, on her on her arm, trying to get through the, the, the metal, but unable to do so. I'm going to have some real good dents in this armor when I get home. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, 
Ah, uh, fuck me, I'm an idiot. Okay, I see it now. This makes more sense. Alright, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you this card, why this is really confusing. Alright, shit, just throw that. Alright, see how it says, it says se plus 7.5. So it looks like it's saying that it's plus 7.5 feet yeah. for range, not the actual, but it's, it's plus 7 to the attack. With five feet range, oh. but because there's a decimal point there, it's not a decimal; it's a comma. It's a comma. Well, I couldn't see it. That's, it's so small. It's, a comma. it's so small. That that's what was throwing me off. Yeah, it's by plus seven, comma, five foot. Okay, well, let's not go back. But now we know for the future. <laughs> yeah. Because at least one of those attack. Your, your tendril has plus seven. 50 foot. 50 foot range, yeah, yeah, I know exactly. But I was thinking it was it was plus seven point five. No. I know, which is what was that's what I was saying. Are you seven and a half feet away? That's why yeah, I was. Like, they've never done half I know that's that's why I was confused. I know, I know. That's yeah. all right. Here at D and D Blender, we learn as we go. Even though we've had a fight with a with a um, a roper before, yeah, pass that back to me. It was far more unique in the previous one because I wasn't using the cards; I was using the screen. Yeah. So it actually has a bit more. Yeah. Um, Easy to see. Yeah. So D and yeah. So D and D Beyond. Fix those. Is it D and D Beyond that does the card? Oh, it's yeah, Wizards, whatever. Wizards of the Coast. Yeah, it's not. It's a full stop. Like make it, make it a comma, even though it's it's completely un, unfocused. Anyway, Mick, you're up. What would you like to do? Uh, slugger to the eye. Slugger to the eye. All right, make a shot. I'll default to hit first, I guess. All right. So what are you what are you doing? You're doing just your regular shot. I'll just use regular. So it'll be two dice because you get two, you get two sh you get two shots because you get two two regular attacks. Yeah. 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 Misses. Oh. Well, what's what's plus what plus your dex? What's My the slugger has a plus to it, so you should. Now you see in the stats in your attacks, it should just tell you what the stats are. Um, so where's your slugger here? Just looking at my Yeah, yeah, it's very good. Just look at my light hammer ability. Damage. Mm. 1d4 minus 1. 1d4 <laughs> minus 1. <laughs> I have a 1 in 4 chance of doing 0 so damage. Big thing. Big thing. <laughs> Misses. Alright, roll again. Second shot. Uh, 16. 16, 20. Hits. So 1 dice? One, uh, so yeah, 2d12 two, two for your damage. Uh, 9 and 4. E yeah, plus So 13 one. plus... Plus 1 on that. Does it say plus uh, 1d12 plus 1? Oh, yeah. I'm looking at Shopping Grass. Okay, so, four, so 14 damage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you see me rip, wheel around the corner and just go, <laughs> fire two shots rather conservatively and hits the, the beast. Um, anything else for bonus action or are you good? Can I do a bonus action? I don't think I can. Okay. Uh, Mandel, you're up. Yeah, I level my pistol and shoot. Fire away. Mm, that's probably not going to hit. 13. 13? No. Uh, no, that misses. Yep. Okay. Uh, back up to the top. Roosh, you are grappled, but you can still do your attacks and everything else if you wish. Put me down! <laughs> uh, let's go back into spells. It's kind of hard to stab it with a spear while I'm grappled. So. I'm well, no, you still like you like it's wrapped around your waist. All right. So it's holding you. So you, your arms are still free. You can do whatever you want, but you just you, you just can't move. Uh, let's go. Yeah, so the grapple speed. condition is that your speed becomes zero. Um. You cannot benefit from any bonus speeds. Uh, it condition ends uh, if the grappler is incapacitated or if you use your um, skill to escape using the DC. Um, I will attempt to stab it with my spear then. Stab away. Twelve that misses. So you're finding a bit hanging upside down, like ah! Step, 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 step. Yeah. 
Oh, don't forget, you can actually attack the tendrils as well if you wish. That is an option. They have the same AC as the creature, so it doesn't matter for this instance, but just reminding yeah. you. Um, okay. It will... Now, Mendel, did you duck back into the, the doorway after you fired your shot? Mm, I'm still there. Okay. He technically didn't move. I hadn't moved. Right, okay, cool. So, uh, one tendril that's coming for you, Mendel. Uh, which is a 20 to hit. Got ripped off. What? Uh, I, there was one. There was one seventeen in my dice roll that I rolled. Uh, so what was it? Uh, did you say twenty? Twenty to hit as opposed to a grapple check. Yeah. I got ripped off. Yeah, but I, I still hit you with the dice though. That's why I didn't take did it back. You? I did because like, I rolled. I rolled a seventeen plus seven, twenty-four. All right. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have reversed it, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, it hits. Hits? Alright, cool. So you're now grappled as well. Um, and Mick... Uh, misses, misses, and misses. <laughs> um, it will do its reel, so it moves you 25 feet towards it, Mendel. So, so yeah, Indy put Mendel up near the rope or it's going to drag him forward. And it's going to attempt to have a nibble on the uncanned meat. <laughs> Uh, with a 12 to hit with the bite. Doesn't hit. No, it's just going to ah, ah, trying to bite with both, neither of which is doing any job. Um, and it's, got, it's actually going to move itself 10 feet back towards the water, please. So, can you move it two squares, please, my dear? No, towards the water. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, Mick, you're up. Um, I'm going to try and rapid fire it now. Rapid fire it now? Alright. <laughs> now remember, you got to do this one at a time, because every subsequent shot, it increases its chance of jamming and overloading. Okay. Yeah. We, we, we modified the rules for it. Okay, so first shot. Uh, two, two, two. I got a, rolled a 14. No, no you, don't get your plus you don't get your pluses when you're rapid firing. Okay, it's just a flat so dice. I, I remember it was a disadvantage. Yeah, so yeah. How many shots is there? One. It's six shots. Well, you've already fired two, so you get four shots this, this round, which you haven't reloaded yet. Okay. So, miss for the first one. Uh, that's a miss. What'd you roll? I rolled a four. I get to miss, yeah. Okay. Seven. Miss. Last shot. Two. <laughs> okay. Now, because you fired four shots, yeah. you minus four from it, that two becomes a one, gun explodes. Oh. So you take four four D no four D six. It's two D twelve damage to a shot, four D twelve for an explosion. So Mick just goes, put my boss down! Ah! And the gun just blows up in his face. He panicked. Yeah. Mick takes 10, 15 points of piercing damage as the, as his shooter detonates in his face. And it can be repaired, but you will need to spend um, quite a bit of time repairing it. I need to, like... I'm gonna... yeah. Okay. Um, so that, that was your attack. Um, do you wish to move at all? Yes, I'm gonna go move straight forward. You can always... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so Mick... Ah! <laughs> so, like, Fuck you! <laughs> Alright. Mendel, you are being flung about by the Roper. What would you like to do? There's horses down here. Yeah, let's just <laughs> let's just pistol it again. Pistoling it again. Uh, well, even with the disadvantage, ten plus six, sixteen. Yes. Well, why are you on the disadvantage? Because it's a pistol shot at close range. Oh, close range, of course. Sorry, yes, thank you. So 16 misses? Yeah, 16 misses, yeah. Alright. Uh, Roosh, back to you. Uh, dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, no. Uh, three. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> 13. 13. Gradient damage. Nice. It's like, ah! 
put me down. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, the Roper will attempt to... Uh, so it's got two other tendrils. He's going to fling those at Mick. Uh, tw- uh, 19 to hit, Mick. I have, um, you have an 18. Okay, so you're, you're also grappled. Um, and it's going to attempt to bite its new newly catched meat it's, today. It'd be pretty hard to... Yeah, yeah. Heavy. <laughs> 13. To hit. Oh. What's your AC? It's 18. 18, so it misses. Yeah. <laughs> why, are you, why are you so disappointed? I said 13. Just tell me if it's a hit or a miss. Uh, and can you, once more, bring it two squares into the water? It's bringing you back towards its... We're going for a swim, boys! <laughs> it's taking you towards its den, so two squares, please. Am I grappled? Yep. Yes, you got, everyone's coming with it. Oh, gosh. Did you do the full two squares? Oh, yeah. There. Thank you. <laughs> trying to cheat me out of my movement. You know, he has ten feet. Leave him alone. <laughs> uh, Mick, you're up. You're now being held by this this beast. Um, it's between shock and grasp and great axe. Between what? Shock and grasp would be nice. Well, shock and grasp. You only get the one attack. You do have two attacks with your great axe, though. That's your thing. So. Dodge this. <laughs> the thing, shocking grasp is a concentration. Oh. No, it's a cantrip. It's a cantrip, yeah. Oh well, yeah. As long as you're staying within range of it, it's just <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a little defibrillator. The one, I think the one you're thinking of is witch bolt. Where it's yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're witch that's bolt. yeah. You think of witch bolt where it's unlimited power. <laughs> Unless you resist me. So what are you doing, Mick? Um, you can also try. You can try to attack one of the tentacles to try and cut yourself free, or you can make a athletics or a de- uh, acrobatics check to escape from the grasp. Mm-hmm. So I get two shots with my. Two shots with the axe. You have two attacks per per I think attack. That's probably better. So roll your attacks. Because it's two d. T12 plus. Yeah, yeah. So roll your d20s for your attack. Oh god. I rolled like a 9. Plus. It's in the attacks list, not the. Actions. What do we use? You don't have to tap, but it will be there. Just... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> ah, you son of a bitch. So. No, so you're, you're in your inventory. You want actions, for fuck's sake. There, look. Got rid of the damn thing. Yeah, great axe, plus six. Yes. So jump in. Fifteen. Fifteen. Misses. Roll on his axe. Chop the dinosaur, daddy. <laughs> chop it! <laughs> Don't so chop the time? dinosaur, daddy. Uh, that's even worse. That was a three. Okay, so swinging with your axe, you failed to hit it. Okay. And out. You're up. And well! <laughs> boom, no. Boom, no? Okay. Boom, boom, no. <laughs> Roosh! Put me down! Brony, brony, brony. <laughs> <laughs> Four. <laughs> eight radiant damage. Another eight radiant damage. Awesome. You got this. <laughs> I'll be over here if you need me. <laughs> Look, if, right. it, if it gets us into the river, we might not have a choice about not exploring the lower levels. All right, so. <laughs> what does it want with us? Duh. It's eight. You guys d- drip into the water. You are not being rushed away by the flowing water now, it, but it is, it is hitting you and you are unable to breathe currently. Um, but, uh, and now it will attempt to, I'll go back to the top of the list, it will attempt to bite Roosh this time. Hey! 25 to hit! 
Um, no, no, no. <laughs> you need to rinse off the can, you see, to get to, get to loosen the lid. Uh, bite, 4d8. Uh, 7, 14, 22, holy shit, 27, uh, plus 4, so 31 points of nibbly damage. Nibbly? It just took my whole leg off. <laughs> it's like, ah! <laughs> it's funny, it's in. It's in. The, the water is uh, slightly stained with blood, but it doesn't stay long, it just washes away. Uh, Mick, you're now underwater, and you... I might. Uh... <laughs> Do you have any spells you can use? Yeah, that are all plus hits. Oh well. Like, and even that, that they're a disadvantage because they're melee range. Uh, what was that? Sixteen. Uh, misses. I thought was the one pretty... decent roll that I got. It's got a pretty high AC. It's made of rock. Yeah. Oh. No, I'll try. Oh, God. It's a one. One? <laughs> it's like, oh, I feel you! Just let me go! <laughs> right. I need that other leg! Yeah, Mendel. Ah. Uh. Yep. <laughs> the gun fires underwater. Fires apparently pretty well. <laughs> It just needed to be a bit wet. This is a bit damper. 22 to Hey! There we go! <laughs> that's with disadvantage. Hey! That's what we like to see. Uh, so that is, I believe, 11 points. 11 of points. Magical piece. Nice. There you go, you found the solution. It's not wet powder. It, sorry, it's not dry powder. It's wet, wet powder. powder. So. <laughs> Roosh, you're up. You're underwater. You're. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I did not enjoy his nibble one bit at all. Um, I sort of like the idea because you've basically gone under under the water, so all you all you're seeing is just flashes and hands coming out, and just the top of the, the top of the spire slowly periscoping its way across the river. <laughs> it's like, kind of like a shark. Yeah, exactly. But it's, just, it's a cone, though. So. Oh yeah, I'm a flawed cleric. A flawed cleric. A flawed cleric. cleric. You got to be careful not to touch the floor. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> Four is lava. <laughs> Not yet. My other clerics are life clerics. I'm like, that's right. I'll just channel divinity on myself. No, I can't do no, that. No, no. Your your divinity um, is all about your uh, your equipment. Make it hot stuff. Yes. Um, I will cast cure runes upon myself. Making lava. Very good. Because I hurty. Really? Really? Not not, not many healies. No. A total of six. Oh. Uh. It's going to take a bite out of uh, its second breakfast, which was Mendel. Uh, 23? Yeah, that'll hit. That'll hit. Points of piercy bite nibble damage. Cool. Uh, and another ten feet, please. It's now crawling up and out the other side. Across the river. Across the river. <laughs> All right, uh, Mick, you're up. Uh, great axe. Great axe. Five. <laughs> Miss. And again, I just can't roll well. What's that? Oh, that's probably good. So it's um eighteen. Eighteen plus. No, it'd be twelve. Plus oh, six. again, misses. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mick. It's like, oh, ah. just wait. Uh, Mendel, you're up. <sighs> uh, 
Uh, 13. 13 misses. Roosh, back to you. <sighs> right. Um... So we can hit it or make a... Correct. You can use your action to, to escape. Escape check. Yeah. Which would be acrobatics or, or athletics. De- acrobatics or athletics. You can either use your strength or your slipperiness. Which is a two or a one in my case. And I don't like my chances of either. But I don't want to be bit again. Um, oh, hang on. It's just one quick thing. So target is restrained and has disadvantage on strength checks and saving throws. Is that going to affect your... Acrobatics check... Is dexterity, but yeah. not. But if you took it athletics, it yeah. would be just bad. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but I think acrobatics is actually my higher one anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try an acrobatics check then. In that case, because I want to be bit again. That's an 18. That's yeah. a total of 20. I rolled good. There you go. You <laughs> you slipped your way out of it. Out of I should have done that the first time. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, does that use up my movement and everything? That's your action. You still have your movement. And your bonus action. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Um, And the advantage is because it has such a large reach, you don't count as moving out of its range for it to take a reaction. Um, And I'm going to use my bonus action to cast uh, Healing Word on Mendo. On Mendo. All right. Thing. All right, well, the Roper doesn't like seeing his food get away. Uh, yep, it fails to... Two tentacles go your way and it fails to get you. <laughs> Maximum healing. Double falls! Double falls! Double falls. Um, so that's ten healing for you, Medina. Wow. Uh, you, you got more than me. <laughs> uh, okay, so Roper's turn. It attacked you. It failed to hit you, and it's going to attempt to bite Mick for a total of nine. No. Way. All right. <laughs> like, ah, this can't get through these. <laughs> get through that plate, man. Uh, Mick, you're up. Uh, I'll axe it again. Oh, hang on. Then move it another ten feet. Uh, two. Yeah, just right to the edge there. Yeah, there you go. No, no, yeah, right, right to the edge of the the lines. Not too far. Too far. Beautiful, there you go. <laughs> oh, that would be 19. Misses. What is it? Uh, 17 plus 6. Hey! There we go. 23, that is a hit. Okay. <laughs> um, so, is it going to be one, one dice because one of it missed? Well, no, it's just whatever the damage is for the axe, which is this 1d12 plus whatever. 1d12 plus 3. Yeah. Ah, uh, 6. 6. Nice. No, actually, I didn't really hold that. That's okay. You hit it. Like, you hit it. it. That's, that's, that's the main thing. Exactly right. Exactly right. Mendel. Um. Uh, we'll try a spell, I guess. Uh, for a firebolt. No. No. Nope. Nope. Let me get over you. Um. Roosh, back to you. Um, can I see where it's trying to go? The place where it is now, there's like a little area across. I really should finish. Missed down a little thing. Let me put the text up. Uh, oh, there So essentially, there's like a small alcove, which is on this side, and it's just dragged you to. So the, the river's there, and there's this thing, and then there's just literally just wall all so along there. So we are there. in its den. You're in its den, exactly. Just dragged you across the river back to its house. 
Um. I want to get bit again, so I'm going to prepare the dodge action. Okay. Um, and. I don't think I'm going to use a bonus action. Yeah, I'll just prepare the dodge action. Okay, dodging. Um, and I'll call out. Try and wriggle free of it so it can't eat you! Okay. Uh, as she says that, Mendel is about to get nibbled upon. Nope. Eleven. And two tentacles come your way, Rouge. First one. Ah, oh, damn it! It was disadvantage because I rolled natural 20 on one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I am prepared to touch action. Uh, and 21 for the second. Nope. Oh, sorry. 20 flat, so with the disadvantage. Cool. So, so ha, hoo, ha. <laughs> Dodging out of the way. Very very nimble in her soaking wet armor with a massive dent in the chest from where the rope bit you. <laughs> you've got like a big teeth. You've got like teeth marks front front and back. So you've got, like, a, you've got like a weird... Um, uh, Roper shaped corset happening. <laughs> uh, Mick, you're up. Uh, same thing. Same thing? Axe axe? Axe. Uh, that's 18. Misses. Uh, I'll t- the same, the 26 or whatever it was. Uh, 23. So you rolled last time. 17. Yeah, same yeah. thing as I rolled yeah. last time. Cool, 23. That hits. Roll for damage. Oh, that's good. 16. 16, nice. Okay, Mendel, you're up. Yeah, let's try and regal free. Alright. I don't like my chances at it, but. I didn't either, but then I rolled an 18, so. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. No, you. Plus yes. Yeah. There you. 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 You feel like you're getting a little bit, bit, of, bit of movement, and then it just sort of grips you slightly tighter, so you're unable to, to get free. Roosh, you're up. This creature's looking very badly hurt at this stage. That's why I won't prepare the dodge action again. No, I'm just saying. You, you, like looking at it now, in uh, it, with with the water washing all the crap off it, you can actually see like the dents, and there's actually like significant amounts of blood and other bits and pieces oozing out of it. Um, you want to dodge again? Go right ahead. I'm just letting you know. It's yeah. it's very badly hurt. All right. Let's give me another dexterity saving throw. Sure. Uh, seven. At least you're consistently failing. <laughs> um, it's a rock. What do you want from it? Eleven. 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 You know, that was exactly what you needed to kill it. <laughs> so, so you can describe your killing blow if you wish. Um, tripping wet halfling and plank gear shrieking at this thing. Stop hurting my friends! <laughs> 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 And as you blast the roper, you see its tentacles go limp and it disintegrates and turns into a regular fight. <laughs> and everyone just falls on the ground. Uh, and you look around you and you see on this side of the river there is a whole bunch of... Um, fish bones and other bits and pieces and you think that fish that you kicked back into the water might have been something that escaped from it previously. But hey, 
Well done. Yeah. No, not that song. That song. You survived a rope attack. You survived your second rope. So, <laughs> so you are now. So you're now here on the map. Well, that was uncomfortable. Let's not do that again. <laughs> I'm huge! Very <laughs> huge. Very huge. Yeah. I like being on this map, it makes me feel powerful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what would you like to do? You have a dead roper at your feet and a rushing river directly in front of you. Um, well, second breakfast, anyone? <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> um, aside from fish brains, is there anything else of interest on this side of the river? Uh, like you make... ancient dwarven hammers that might have gone missing or something. Make like an investigation check. Uh, I've got to stop going back and go into different things. Eight. Eight. Um, not immediately, but you do notice um, on the injuries of the Roper, there does appear to be something shiny. Uh, I, was I will pick at that. No. So what are you investigating? Um, I wanted to look for any supplies. And okay. I, again, there's nothing immediately. Like, like, really, everything you see is just the rope. Uh, I'll just the, do the rope. Then. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. No? I would like to have a look at the shiny Five. thing. Okay. Um, you look at the shiny thing and it looks um, like green and shiny. Like a crystal shiny? Hmm. Is this perhaps a good reason to go back up now? I'm going to ignore him for the minute and pull this green crystal thing out. Okay, so you... And you pull a emerald. Cool. Shiny. A 400 gold piece emerald out of its guts. Okay. <laughs> That'll pay for the repairs to my armor. <laughs> I could mend it. more dramatic if I say it's for repairs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mendel, what do you, would you like to do? Would you say anything? Uh, just, just that. Just that? Okay. I like to spend any time kind of brushing the slugger. Alright, so you're going <laughs> to attempt to... So are you guys taking a short rest now? Or? How wide is the river? Uh, as, you, as you see it, every square is... Um, yeah. 10 feet? Yes, yeah, it's 10 feet from one side to the other. So Mick could probably jump it with a running jump. Probably, yes. Um, so if we tie a rope around you, just in case you don't make it to the other side, we can catch you and pull you back. Um, and then if you do make it to the other side, we can use the rope to help our skirt across. Right. Yeah. What did you roll for your investigation? What were you, you were actually checking the broker out, weren't you? Yes. What did you roll though? I rolled a one. Oh, okay. I get a plus four with that. Yeah, then no, that's no, fine. It's a one. That's fine. <laughs> just, I was just curious what you actually rolled. You're like, oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so I will, if you're willing, Mick. Mick. Mick the mech. Mick the mech. I will tie a rope around you and ask you real nice to jump in the small bit. All right. <laughs> We have rules for running jumps, don't we? Um, running jump, you can jump one feet per Long jump. strength. Yeah, okay. Move 10 plus feet and the jump the number of feet equal to your strength score. You make a standing jump, you can leap only half that distance. Yeah, so with the strength of 10, 
She yeah. should be able to jump ten feet. Ten feet with yeah. a running jump. With a running jump, yeah, cool. And you've got ten. You've got ten feet of movement. Well, then I can make that distance. Yeah, all of you could make you... it. No, I can't. No. Yeah. Um, so, th- so you two could very easily jump over yeah. it without issue. Um, yeah. So, jump across. Take the end of this rope. Jump across. Yeah, but I will. I will say, just roll the dice because it is a bit. Uh, I rolled 19. a nineteen plus yeah, you, yeah. three. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Nick, Nick um, backs up and do, 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 whoosh. Take both ends of the rope and then I'll have the rope around me and then Mandel, you can use both like a rope bridge. We're making a rope bridge. Put your feet on the bottom rope and your hands on the top rope. I'd rather tie myself to the rope. I mean, we have more than one rope. You also have a dead roper with six 50 foot long tentacles. So. Pass. Hard pass. <laughs> Gross. Hey, it's a rope bridge. <laughs> you tie all the ropes together. <laughs> it's, you, you braid the rope <laughs> Long story short, we have an argument about who's going to be roped to what. at the ends of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cross cross the the yeah. yeah. Long story short, you have an argument, roll a check to see whether you get what swept downstream. <laughs> Which one specifically uh, is the falling down the stream? It's well, you're doing a, a strength check too because you, you're hitting in the water, so you, you're basically. Which is why I said. Oh, yeah. so minus one. Okay. Uh, four. Four. Okay. Actually, with advantage because you got the rope supporting you. Which is why I said let's make a rope bridge. Oh, well, that's a seventeen. Seventeen. There Much you go. Better. Much better. Yeah. So you slip him, oh, and you grab the rope, and Mick and Roosh work together and get your lazy ass across the bridge, so, <laughs> across the just, river. Just not strong ass. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how true that actually is, <laughs> because I could have easily gotten across that. <laughs> all right. So you're now all back over where you began. Um, so we know basically the extent of this cavern. Yes. yes. So we know we have to go back into the central cavern. Because we saw a door that we didn't go down. There's two doors down there you haven't been through yet. All right. So instead so we're going back up to the upper floors. We'll argue all of the way back to. <laughs> shouting and arguing. Yeah. Oh, we're not shouting. We're okay. Like, Either way. Whispered argument because who knows where the clickers are. Very good. Um. So we have a small problem. What's your small problem? Mix slugger is broken. So we can fix it. How long will it take for you to fix your slugger? You'll need to spend a long rest working on it. Like eight hours. Yeah, because it, it exploded. The whole chamber detonated. So, if you want to take out the clickers, we have one less weapon right now. Mick, you don't have any other... You've got your great axe? Uh, yeah. I... My, um... Uh, your claw? He's got, he's got his chopper, he's got his power claw, but he still needs to work on that. Sounds a lot quieter than the gun was. That's true. Mm. I am loud. <laughs> um... I guess what I'm saying is we have less versatility if we were going to go into a room full of clickers to deal with a room full of clickers. Personally, would like to check out the rest of downstairs and maybe have a nap before we go upstairs. We just woke up. Yeah, you didn't have your arm and your leg almost bit off by a goddamn roper. Um, yeah, I think I did actually. I was in a very similar position to you, or were you just not paying attention? I healed you, didn't I? <laughs> so you're very well aware of the situation that I was in. <laughs> so I'm suggesting perhaps we have a nap. We just woke up like two minutes ago. And now I'm going to be working on my um, son. After we go. Okay, <laughs> you're, you're just like casting, <laughs> mending, and tinkering. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm talking Because it'll be a safer explore if we do the lower levels. Because nothing bad's ever happened in the lower levels of something that's already bad. At least they're not. 
No, they just tend to eat your arms and legs, apparently. Well, I guess we did go to sleep across from its bedroom. Okay, so you got door number one, number two, or back upstairs, door number three. What have you decided? We have it. Um, I want to take that door. Okay, is that the lower one or the upper one? The lower one. The lower one. All right, so you walk to the lower door. Uh, it is a, um, a wooden door that looks um, fairly well um, constructed, still, but very, very... Um, worn is what I'm looking for. It does not appear to be locked from just to, like the handle moves by moving it. So. Um, I will very quietly try to open the door. Okay. The door. Mm-hmm. Quietly. Yeah, that's as quiet as that door goes. <laughs> so. um, I peek into the room. You peer through, uh, just peel the, the bottom piece of paper off, Indy. No, no. That one. No, bottom one. That one, yes. <laughs> okay. So you see a series of rooms very similar to um, the, the disappointment room. However, uh, this, uh, this room has dark, stagnant pools uh, on the small landing at the base of the step into the room and the entire lower section. Uh, so this, this room is slightly lower down and the entire thing is flooded out. It's like, like about like two inches deep of, of water. Um, and you can smell, once again, uh, the room smelling of rot. Door. <laughs> the door closes. Let's try the other one. It does not appear to be uh, locked either, and the door opens freely. Uh, the door gives way, at revealing a low chamber of dressed stone. Uh, this chamber is. Oh no, this is the wrong description. This is a description of the, uh, the disappointment room. <laughs> I'll have that again. Were we, were we about to have another disappointment? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, um, oh, okay. Uh, okay, this room, um, once again, is actually very, very similar to the other one. This, it still has the exact same setup. So that the, I was actually reading the wrong, what I thought was the wrong description, but it's the right description, but it uses the exact same description. So it has more rotten food, barrels of salted meat gone bad, sacks of flour, grain covered russet mould, um, and you see the archways to the the end, which lead to more rooms. So once again, more disappointment. <laughs> that one or that one? Uh, yeah, that there. That's the one there. Yeah. So we can open this up. You can go. Yeah, if you're heading further in. Yeah, you can peel that away. Just kind of want to like. Make sure we've covered all our bases. Mm-hmm. And again, exactly the same thing. And one more time. <laughs> it's a lot of mouldy, rotten food. It's supposed to be like where, where they, where the, the dwarves stored all their food and people they didn't want to have to deal with. Huh. Oh well, bases checked. Let's go up now. Okay. You head back upstairs. Whereabouts the bay? Like around here? No, no, you are coming up uh, there. So that was the waterfall you got swept down. Uh, that was the stairs. Um, this was the this is the chamber here with all of the the tombs. This was the, the large area. The iron door is on this end. This is where you saw the tentacles. Mm-hmm. Um, and up back up way up the top there, that's where you guys came in from. And this was the area where this is where you heard the clickers coming from, down here yep. and up there. That was the, the cage that had the furry animal in there you didn't check out. Yep. yep. Uh, and that was the, the stone archway that was carved in that you saw there. 
Okay. So when we when we came through here before, we just heard clickers coming from this way. Correct. And not, you not from that way exactly. Yes. So in my head, the way that it was described, um, we came down here, mm -hmm. heard that this whole cavern was filled with clickers, and then made a beeline out. Well, you were, again, you were hearing clickers coming from all over the place, but this is also where you were hearing them from coming up and down those two passageways. Right. But we didn't actually see any. Correct. I thought we had. And the nope. whole and the no. whole the whole larger area was covered in the the mushrooms as well. That's right, because we had connected the clickers with the fungi before. Mm-hmm. But I thought we had seen them. You know, haven't se hadn't seen them in this area yet. You'd only heard them. And I think I worked out that the mushrooms in this spot were just normal mushrooms. Yes. Yes. There were, there were larger, larger versions of mushrooms that you would regularly find and consume. <laughs> so, let's reread the descriptor of this, this area where you're currently standing in, just to remind you what you're seeing. Yeah, that right. does help. The thunderous roar of falling water fills this long, low chamber. The spray makes everything slick and wet. So this is the slipper area too, just to remind you guys. Uh, a fast stream rushes through the center of the cavern, emerging from beneath a crude dam of rock and mud on the western wall. Uh, the stream disappears into a dark shaft into the cavern's eastern end, and a rough, winding path follows the stream towards the east. So you're at the eastern end of the, of the chamber at the moment, coming up the stairs. So making your way back up, I'll need you guys to make dex checks to make sure you don't slip and fall down the fucking waterfall again. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled a one. Okay. Roosh? So, before I even get to... Eleven. Eleven? Okay. Um, yeah. Do the intelligent thing of suggesting, hey, perhaps, you know, you might want to, like, tie each other together. Um, I'd, I'd be coming up behind them. Okay. So, so you're coming up behind. Um, so, so literally, uh, who is in front? Probably me. Okay. So, Roosh, you slip. You start sliding backwards, and you start sliding towards the river. You hit Nick. Both of you hit, <laughs> tumble. Do you roll, dear? Into the river. <laughs> Make a strength check once you, because you've hit. You're, you're now stopping yourself from falling into the water as well. Seventeen on the Okay, dice. you're good. You make you make some, stop yourself before you hit the river. So you're you're okay. You're you're wet and annoyed, but you're okay. Mick, uh, make a strength check. Oh, okay. Um, a one. Oh my god. That's a seven. Seven. Okay. seven. Plus, plus plus three. Ten. Beautiful. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Mendel, how are you doing? He hasn't rolled the dice yet. Oh, I haven't, no, I haven't stepped into the room yet. I'm just, oh, right, I'm right. just right. watching you, them. It's you like, see, yeah, so they step into the room like, whoop, 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 and they're just like, hanging over the edge of the waterfall going, shit, and you manage to crawl your way back forward. You're okay. You all done yet? <laughs> Jack. <laughs> um, I'm making my way more carefully across the floor. Mm-hmm. Towards the tunnel, and I want to go. I was to going to suggest that you know perhaps tying ourselves together so that if one person slides, but by the looks of it, you're both going to be sliding quite a bit. So maybe I don't want to be tied to y'all. Ignoring him, I'm going to continue my way up the room. Okay, are you going to stand up? Or are you going to remain prone to? Uh, crawling at this point doesn't seem like a bad plan. Okay. So crawling, you do not need to worry about taking the check, so you slowly crawl. <laughs> it's still slippery, but you're not taking steps, and you're less likely to go up, go ass My up. My center of mass is lower. It's lower to the ground, exactly. Like, you still slide, but you don't slide quite so much, and you can dig in the fingers to stop yourself. Grab, grab a hold of some moss. It's more like a rock climbing at this point. Yeah, exactly, exactly, on a, on a, on a flat surface. Uh, where would you like to go? That. Okay, now remove the... There is a lizard. Mm -hmm. uh, how wide is the river at that point? 
Uh, five feet. It's not very thick. But it's still rushing. It's rushing. It's very, very fast. Yeah. So it'll if you if you get into it, it'll take you. So you just go. Um, but you can. Right. So because because the river is flowing through here, you can um, go through it. You just need to make a check, a strength check, to fight against the flow. You can see um, round the corner um, here. There is light coming from a phosphorescent moss. That's why you can see mm. that area. This looks more difficult than it's worth, and I don't really want to get wet again. All right, let's go back to the main tunnel. Okay. Uh, back into the main chamber. I'll re-describe that for you. Um, this great cavern with uh, glimmers with a faint phosphorescence. The ceiling is almost 50 feet overhead and bright flecks of gleaming stone uh, are visible in the distance. Patches of a strange fungi dot the floor, including cat stalks standing as tall as a human and glowing puffballs almost a yard wide. A high ledge rises 15 to 20 feet above the floor to the north, south, and west walls. Narrow passageways uh, lead off to the north and south, and a flight of carved stone stairs descend from the western ledge to a path. So that's where, up the top corner there, describing that area there. Um... And audible throughout the entire chamber is the, is the soft, cool breeze as well as the... And we don't see anything immediately. Mm -mm. And Yusuf said she saw tentacles. That Mendel saw the tentacles. I thought Yusuf saw them first. Did Yusuf see the tentacles or did you see the tentacles? Oh, Someone saw the tentacles. Yusuf saw the tentacles. Okay. The tentacles were up. Um, I don't. Uh, to, yeah, there. There's, a, there's like a little uh, a raised platform there. With some rocks, and they saw it. She, there was some rocks in there, and she saw a tentacle. Like, <laughs> so probably another rock thing up there. And the iron door is right at that end, in the corner there. Yeah. That's it there. Yeah. Okay, so in my head, we had to climb up a ridge to get to the iron door. No, because it's it's a stairway. That's why it was described. Right. That so way. we can just go. You can just go. Yeah, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you want to perhaps? <laughs> we go quietly. Yeah. So are you guys going quietly? We're just going to go 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 go. Go quietly. Okay, going quietly. Did, going quietly. Okay. did you perhaps want to take that armor off now? If you're that worried about noise. So a lot of the problems that I have, my dear, is. Excuse me. Voice change. Keep up. <laughs> <laughs> voice change. One of the problems that I have is the visual representation that I had in my head of the scenario is actually completely different to what is the thing. Yes, except for the fact that you're still making noise. Yes, but I can be quiet. I can't. You can try to be quiet. Correct. <laughs> but also, there's not 30 hundred um, clickers, clickers that you were imagining that I had Yes. The room is permeated with the sound of the clickers, but you do not see clickers. Which is far better in my mind. Yes. Um, yes. I hear clickers, I don't see clickers! <laughs> and yeah, like, in my head, we had to get through, um, think of it like... I'm going to grab a copper okay. out of my bag and just keep it in hand ready. Okay. 
Or... So, so you guys are moving. So I, are you? So you put yourselves a bit further back, just so we know where you are currently. Right. And so, so are, but are you doing? Are you stealthing away? Oh, absolutely. Yes. All right. So give me stealth checks, please. So I've got my copper in my hand. Uh-huh. I'm going to get ready to cast a mundane effect on it. Very good. If I need to. Um, Sixteen. Sixteen? I rolled fifteen, but I have to roll again. Disadvantage, yeah. Oh, well, that's even better. Nineteen, so... So, you take your fifteen. Sixteen. Cool. Awesome. Oh, lofty he rolls a one. <laughs> Nineteen. Hey! Look at you guys go. Alright, alright. Roll ability checks, just not attacks. Very excellent, excellent. Alright, let me just check one little thing before we continue to celebrate. Um. Are you going to have to blur out every time I pick up my can and take a drink? It's not. <laughs> I say unique pictures are okay, just not, you know, like, <laughs> just a massive advertisement. Um. Yeah, alright, cool. So, you make it to the door. One thing that does catch your eye, however, as you are approaching the door is two massive, what look like, like the, the mushrooms that you've been seeing before, but these ones actually look a lot more rough, and they look like they have foliage growing on them. And these are placed, uh, or sort of positioned, I should say, um on either side of the stairwell leading up to the door. But as you manage to move past them, you're not, there's no reaction from them. So. I'm going to make a mental note to burn those with fire later. <laughs> Do we have any throwing fire? No. Why would we have throwing fire? You might have had throwing fire, I don't know. I think maybe um, Nissa had. It. Alrighty. Why did you trust Nissa? <laughs> because she's not new. So. Uh, where am I here? Hang on. Let me just find the twenty-seven. Let's go find the script. Iron door. Okay. Cut into the cavern wall is a small but strong-looking door of iron plates. About five feet feet tall and four feet wide, heavy rivets stud the surface, and a, uh, a tarnished silver rune, Duradan Smith mark, which you recognise, gleams on the door's rusted surface. No. What do you do then? Put the key in the door and turn it. But what if there's someone on the inside who is scared? You get shot. Do you want to be on the outside? No. The key, door turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you looking at the door and you can't see. Mark. No. Put you push the mark and it swings. <laughs> Keyhole. Key. <laughs> You turn the key and you hear this big <laughs> and the door lifts with with crumbling rock. Directly behind you, you see those two plants turn and begin to move towards you. You used to rush inside um, or Yes. Well <laughs> yes. Alright, so you you rush inside, leaving them behind, and as you make it in the door <laughs> No closes behind you. No! I wanted them to go in with me! <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone's in. Oh. oh. Not, not just you. <laughs> <laughs> How do you have a conniption one on one? <laughs> I think that you're, you're the only person in the only party that matters. <laughs> no! I'm the only one here! Damn it. Like, oh, your friends are there with you, alright. Cool. Alright, we can get rid of this map now. So. All right. Um, I 
the door shut behind us? The, sh- the door shut behind us. Is there like a lever or something that we can open to get out? Um, make an investigation check. Oh, yeah. I'll look because I'm the last one in. Fourteen. Uh, it does not appear to be a lever, but there is the keyhole on this side as well. I'm assuming you retrieved the key. Silly to leave it in the door as it went up into the roof. Good. At least we have a way out. a little less condescending? (laughs) Um. Starting to get on my nerves. Ask me again later. I'd prefer you started now. Are you off to Indy? <laughs> okay. What can my halfling eyes see? The stairs at the end of the entrance. Uh, sorry. So you make your way down a set of dark stairs. The stairs end at the entrance of uh, to an oct- octagonal chamber. The floor is inlaid with cracked, dusty blue tiles, and the walls are dressed, dressed, which... Fuck. (laughs) Start again. (laughs) The stairs end at the entrance of an octagonal chamber. The floor is inlaid with cracked, dusty blue tiles, and the walls are dressed with polished marble. There it is. I got it out. (laughs) Large doors of iron bound oak exit to the northwest and the northeast. Uh, three cr- cast bronze statues, almost ten feet tall, stand by the west, north, and east walls. Each depicts an armed dwarf. The eastern and western ones carry axes uh, and a shield. The center statue is armed with two statues. The ceiling rises in a dome almost 30 feet above the floor. From somewhere in the distance, you can hear the faint ringing of a hammer on anvil. Did you say that the middle statue statue has got two two statues? statues? Sorry, two axes. (laughs) (laughs) I may have said two statues. (laughs) Okay. There you go. (laughs) It's like, (laughs) hmm! Yeah, he's holding both. Yeah, it's it. Yeah. He said, a foolish samurai warrior armed with a shape shifting. Have <laughs> you seen that one before? Yeah. It's, it's, a samurai, it's a samurai jack thing. Hang on, i got to find it now. All right. Oh, no, wait, so, uh... <laughs> so that's, that's not what I meant to describe. That's what I ended up describing. He so, said, you know what? Fuck it. The center statue is holding two other statues that are holding two axes each. <laughs> so that's now what you see. Mm-hmm. Very out of... A little bit of poetic license was required there. Okay. Uh, and like I said, yes. So, from somewhere in the distance you can hear the faint ringing of hammer on anvil. Which is very familiar to you. Yeah. Um, you said there were doorways in this room? Yes, large doors of iron-bound oak exit to the northwest and northeast. So here and here? Mm-hmm. Um... Is there any inscriptions? Uh, no. Huh. Um. Yes, I'll step into the room. Okay. You step in and you see what you see. I would like to examine the statues more closely. Okay. Um, sure, make a perception check or investigation check, whichever one you want to do. Spurs it better. Go down there and look as well. I don't feel like you have to, Mr. Cautious, I don't want to get bit thing. <laughs> Uh, 16. Uh, 16. Investigation. Investigation. All right. Then. Um, as 20, you 20, step into... Sorry? 22. 22. All right. As you step into the room, you you hear the hammering, and it's definitely, like, sort of echoing around, but it's sort of stronger towards the west... Sorry, the east side of the room. 
Um, uh, the statues themselves do not appear to be uh, overly unique, but the arms of the center one uh, do look like they're hinged. So if you look at the, when, you, when you're sort of examining it closer, you see like the arms look like they're, they're not solid. It looks like they would move somehow. Rotate. Rotate. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. Um, I would like to rotate the arm of the one to the east. Uh, you try to, and they do not move. Yeah, so the arms do not move. Uh, you put your ear up to the door, and you, don't, like, you, you still hear the hammering, but it doesn't appear to be coming through the door. I'll go up to the eastern wall and put my ear up against the eastern wall. Uh, well, there's a statue in the way. I'm a little. Okay. <laughs> so, sort of up on the door, it's like... Uh, yeah, so you're def- it's definitely louder up against the wall. Um, your investigation check, Mandel. Um, mm. You notice the exact same thing, but you also notice on the ground, um, in front of the two doors, there appears to be uh, indents, like scratch marks. Both of them. Yeah, in front of both doors. So like, um, so it's like like the shape of a, a cross. Looks like something's like impacted. Like a like a cross is smacked into the okay the stone. There's like, hmm. two, there's like two little X marks the spot scratches in the uh, <clears throat> in front of the stones on both the doors. Hmm. Well, it looks like something here has moved. What? Yeah, these doors here. I suspect that in order to get past this, we need to. Perhaps open one or both of these doors and then try to use the statue, perhaps. Okay, well, let's open the doors then. Well, it's just a guess, but... I'll get this one, you get that one. Alright. Okay. You both stand in front of the door. Mick, what are you doing while this is going on? Working. Oh, he's just <laughs> Mick is just fiddling, nice. casting Mendy on the gun, going, ah, oh, try, <laughs> try and get the gun to work. And Continuous just... mending spell pain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So, you two, you step in front of the doors. What would you like to do? I would like to open my door. Okay. I have the one on the east side. You can have the one on the west side. Okay. As you both open the doors, uh, the axe hands of the statues <laughs> swing down and attack you both. Attacking you, Roosh. Uh, first axe misses, second one 24 to hit. That hits. That hits. Um, 2d8. It doesn't matter how high you put your AC, he finds a way to beat you. <laughs> okay, the dice goes all the way up to 20, so... <laughs> Uh, you take nine points of slashing damage. Mendel, two axes come swinging at you. Fuck me. <laughs> a natural 20 and 18. So fuck, okay. Um, so, that's what we got here. So it's 16 plus 27... Uh, 34 slashing damage on you, Mendel. So that's the first one? No, that was both of them together. What's the first one? Um, it was uh, 24. 24. And I'm going to shield the other. 
Okay. So what what number did what did you shield? Uh, it takes me up to twenty three. Twenty three, not enough because a natural twenty and eighteen, which goes up to twenty five. Right. Okay. Well, I just heard the eighteen, so. Yeah. So yeah, it was, a, a, it was, it was eighteen an, on the dice. Eighteen on the dice. Yeah. Not. But... Yeah. Sorry. 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 So you can you can choose not to do the do the shielding, but yeah. Uh, so it was 35 total. 35 total. Cool, I'm yeah. unconscious. Oh, <laughs> so the axes... And then you see the axes... Reset. And you, the doors that are... What's behind the door? Stone. Mendel, that was a... That was a terrible idea! <laughs> what are you... <sighs> yeah, Mick, you see these statues swing their axes and smack your two friends and you see Mendel, Mendel go... And just fall down unconscious. Blood spraying everywhere. Oh, <laughs> um, I will close my door. Yeah. Go around Mendel. Yeah, so like as you uh, as you pull them out, it's like a, it's like a wire attachment. And as you let the door, the handle go of the door, the axes <laughs> reset back up. There's what the statues look like. With the... Oh. Right. Mm. Different to how I had them in my head too. Yeah. And there's the, the uh, roper attack. What did you roll? <laughs> did you I didn't roll a d8. Oh. Why, why am I rolling Because I can't find a d8 right now. Yeah. Yeah. This is the death statue that just smacked them. And there's the, the um, roper battle from before. <laughs> All right. So then Bell, Mendel, Mendel, Mendel's back up, back up, a little bit worse for wear. That wasn't a very good idea. <clears throat> Apparently not. Um, did your door have anything behind it? You wouldn't. Have, yeah, you would. You would have just seen like stone and then blackness. <laughs> so. I don't think so. Mine, mine just had stone with a trip wire. Well, I'm gonna say that. Let's not do that again. Um, I can hear forge noises coming from that wall. So, so uh, sorry, I have another question. Yes. Judging that I've been hit by Anax. Yes. Which direction, like, which portion of the X in front of it would this axe have been? Uh, it was actually from both of them because an axe came from the statue directly in front has the two axes. Yeah. Right. When one door is open, it swings on that side. When the other one opens, it swings on that side. And then the two oh, axes. Oh, and then the other two <laughs> have got single axes, and they <laughs> so they right. both they both cross they cross hit you. We, we right. triggered that trap to the maximum capacity. Yeah. So at all, the same time. All of the statue. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, because it has an axe and shield, and then axe axe. That's how. Or statue, statue, axe, 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 axe. So we could have been hit by more than two axes. <laughs> With my bizarre descriptions. And so both of the east and west shield, uh, statues have got shields. Shields and an, and an axe, yes. Can I start feeling up the east wall? You can definitely feel up the east I would, wall. I would like to look for like a secret door mm -hmm. type thing. Because I can hear noises coming from that wall. Mm -hmm. Make a. Uh, so I suppose probably close to be a perception because you're sort of seeing what you can feel. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Uh, it just again feels like stone. Like you can get your hand in in behind the statue. You just can't feel. Oh, sorry. Right. Ten. 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 It's plus two. Not plus two. Oh, <laughs> even same same deal. Still. Just... I would like to check the shields on the statue. Go for it. Ten. Ten? Yeah. Looks like just a, a stone shield. They have um, Duridan's um, forge well, symbol on them. There's probably another way to help deal with this, but a little mm -hmm. bit more uh, forceful. I don't want to break anything. 
Well, I'm about this close to breaking something. Go out there and break some mushrooms. No. So we're not breaking anything in here. If Indy was here, she would tell you all about the rules to go with archaeology, but she's not, so you're going to get the dumbed-down and <laughs> simplified version from me. So basically what you're saying is we should smash a wall in and see what happens. No. No, we should not. We should have a sit-down and a think and a look. But not breaking anything. Did you find any keyholes? Maybe this key opens more things. I don't know. Did you find anything in that wall? No. I was looking for keyholes, but I didn't find anything. Is there um, anything, any patterns on the floor, aside from the X's? Uh, make an investigation check. Oh, edge of the map, why you do this? <laughs> no dice. Eight. Eight? No. Just Bounced off the 18 mm -hmm. to the 4. Yeah, it just appears uh, to be stone, like it has some weird patterning in it that, yeah, after seeing your, um... Like after being hit in the head with an axe, you're sort of a bit a bit woozy, you're not really paying that much attention. Um step back step back again for a sec away from the statues and I'd like to um, use mage hand and mm -hmm. open the right hand okay. door. Uh, you open the door, uh, and you see um, that uh, when, when as soon as you open up the door, the handles don't actually come down this time. But the door swings freely, um, and it just has stone directly behind it and you see there's like a um, uh, looks like a spring that's been triggered that hasn't been reset yet so that's the device that triggered the trap okay you call put the blanket on um also close the kitchen door so keep the heat in or the lounge room uh, all both I'll use mage hand for the left hand door as well. Uh, opening the next door, same deal again. You see that cool. it, is just, it is a stone. The handles do not, the axes don't swing at you this time. And it looks like whatever trap was in here is being triggered. Well, at least we know it shouldn't happen again. Should. Um. Does it look like the statue on the east wall has been moved at all? Uh, make an investigation check. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, looking at it, you don't really see how it would be moved, but when you get closer to the ground, you do notice there are like, scuff marks. It looks like it's been slidden forward. Possibly. Slidden? Slid? Slowed? Slide? Um, I'm gonna try and push against the statue in that direction then. Alright. Strength check. Ooh. Ooh. 17. 17! Straight, straight strength. Look at you go. Alright. So you start pushing on the door. Um. Oh, I'm saying, on, no, on a statue. Door, statue, sorry. Pushing a statue, it's like... Argh! And you see Mendel just... Argh! Shoving this, this statue, and nothing's happened. Can I help? <laughs> sure. Can you help if you like? There was no, um, like... No way for, like, the shields to move or anything like that on the statues. Uh, make, make another investigation check. Uh. 17. 17? Um, it does look like the shield is on a rotating pivot. Like, the, the hand that's holding it does have, like, a... You twist it, and you hear it. And you push hard on the door, and nothing happens. <laughs> um, 
gonna go to the statue on the other side and twist the shield. We'll try to twist the shield on that side. The uh, shield on the other side does not move. Nope, just your one. This one isn't wiggly wobbly. <laughs> you you, you see it. Did you say there was a symbol of the forge on the shield? On the shield, on both the shields, yeah. Hold still, hold still. Make it do the clunk thing again. Can I move the symbol and see this keyhole? Uh, no, it doesn't shift. Nope, no keyhole. Is there a keyhole? Now that it's clunked? Do the door, do a, do do, a, do the door thing again. What door thing? Will you open the door with not standing next to the door? Uh, door's still open? Yeah, the doors are still open. No. Yeah. Is there anything different in there? No, just stone. We try and pull the axe arm down. Uh, you try and pull it. Like, as you grab a hold of it, so you, you try to apply it, strength, and it just goes, whoosh, it just swings down. It appears that whatever mechanism was holding it in place is no longer building it. So mm-hmm. he goes, he goes, and it sort of springs back up. And you let it go. Well, something here feels like it's unlocked, but I can't, for the life of me, work it out. Have you tried turning the statue? The whole statue? Sure, why not? You've tried pushing it, that doesn't work. We'll try uh, rotating it. Well, no, I haven't. Let's try that. Okay. Right. You got any better ideas? Not at the moment. Yeah, let me help you. <laughs> Should I roll? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you sure. get, Mandel? Uh, well, with the straight strength check, I, ro- I rolled a six Ooh. for minus one for a five. Oh, right, okay. With her assistance, I rolled a one for a minus one for ah, a zero. Ah, very good. So you helped a great deal. And Mix is sort of watching you guys fiddling with his gun. So <laughs> <laughs> what did you get there, Roosh? Um, my dice was cocked, and this is making a lot of noise, so I'm not rolling that anymore. Okay. <sighs> 15. Plus Fifteen. Strength, you say? Mm-hmm. Uh, Sixteen. So what are you trying to do? You're trying to rotate it. All right. So as you you grab it to one side, you twist it. It, goes, it just slides slightly forward on one side. It doesn't actually rotate all the way. It just goes slightly forward. Did anything else change? Did you hear anything else? Did anything else change? Mm-hmm. No, they changed. But yeah, it has moved slightly forward. Or anything on the floor where it was? Nope. Do we just keep pulling it that way then? I guess so. So you, yeah, so you, you start. <laughs> and you realize, that, oh, you slide it forward. Oh, okay. So oh. it slides quite easily when you just pull it straight out. Um, and you see on <coughs> the rear a set of stairs leading up. Stairs? Should have just blown the statue up. No. And as, as soon as you, as soon as the the statue moves away, you you hear the ting, ting, ting is actually a lot louder now. Mm. This is definitely where the sound was coming from. Yep, we're going in here. Uh, ready? Yes. Ready? Well, well. What's up? I still have my gun. Yeah, the gun's still broke. Still preparing, but. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> ready. Um, let me. You guys are so enthused about this whole thing. It's cool. Before we go any further, are you casting healing spells on yourself? I do something, yes. Are you casting healing spells on yourself? Mick, what, what are you doing? The door is open. I am improving my situation. So, I what you're saying then is I don't need to cast right. the spells on you that I was about to cast on you. Okay. But I shall... I don't know. Maybe I'll put a shield up. Shield the reaction spell. You don't need to put it up. 
Mick barges his way past you both and just starts going up the stairs. Yes. <laughs> well, maybe you shouldn't go first. Because they were attacked by orcs. And you're an orc. So they're like different orcs. They don't know the difference. <laughs> I can't tell. What? What was I again? You're an evil son. Evil son. Yeah, the snake bites were the ones that were in the in the area up above. So I will race after. Mick, we're like, Mick, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> wait there is a, wait. Uh, <laughs> evil moon. <laughs> Uh, at the top of the stairs uh, is a stone door carved with a glowering dwarf face. And it opens easily as Mick pushes his way past everyone. This enormous hall is lined with ten great pillars carved into the forms of giants and dragons. It supports the vaulted ceiling high above. Uh, guttering orange torches set in sconces along the walls illuminate the room and the a mighty throne sits on a dais at the opposite end the walls were once covered with a tile mosaic but they have been smashed and defiled by graffiti tiny fragments of tile litter the floor uh, you can see five other exits there are uh Oh yes, there's... What am I looking at here? It's only showing me four exits. So the description's wrong. You see four exits. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's the... There's one above. Yeah, there's yeah, one there. One, yeah, there's two, two, two up, so one at the end, and, and then there's another one. There's, an, there's a, a, t a hallway down this way that leads the, uh, into there. And a um, another exit leads down that way there. Uh, um, a small fire smoulders on the floor before the dais, where um, six sleeping pallets lie empty, surrounded by packs and supplies. The sounds of hammers ringing of iron comes from beyond the doors to the south. Uh, the sound of a harsh voice calls from the shadows, from the pillars. Go back from whence thou came. This is the only warning you will get. Huh. That doesn't sound like a female name. Uh, we're looking for someone. Can you help us? And you hear it again. Go back from whence thou came. Is it speaking in, like, ancient Dwarven? Uh, yes. So I don't understand what the hell is no. going. I just hear this booming voice. Yes. Um, I think that's a pre-recorded recording. Uh, I'm a walk uh, over this way, behind a pillar. <laughs> oh, check out the supplies. Yeah, so Mick runs towards a bit there. Go for it. Ah, oh, yeah, make an investigation check. Plus four, seventeen. Seventeen. Um, you look through the uh, the supplies. Um, it just looks like basic food and and water things. It doesn't look like anything of um, unique manufacture. This is like just people that are, are being using this place as a makeshift camping area while they're oh, they're nice here. <laughs> is the food really old or is it fresh? Um, doesn't appear old, at least not to an orc. So they're still here. They're not dead people. So this area is inhabited, and you're stealing someone's food. I'm hungry. Would you have your own food? Um. I would like to investigate the sound of the anvil and the hammer. Okay. I would like to follow the sound. 
Uh, that's a good question. Where does it actually tell me that it came from? Give me one moment here while I... Yes. Need to look through all of the... Uh, Ah, okay, cool. Uh, okay, so... Uh, right, okay, cool. Uh, the sound of the, the hammering is coming from the, the far end and to the south. So, yes, yes. mix over there. Uh, as you begin to move down that way, you actually hear the sound of footsteps shuffling away from you, and then you hear... And then Mick, you hear footsteps go... But we don't see anything. You don't see anything, but you hear the footsteps. Uh, hello? We can hear you. And you hear a voice in Orcish. What do you want? Uh, we're looking for the boss. The yeah, boss, yeah, yeah. There's no, no boss here. Good, then you can be my boys. Well, we're, we're anyone's boys. Yeah, now. Well, no. Come out, come out. Let's have a talk. What? No. All right, come out. Make an intimidation check. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me that was either a 1 or a 20. It's a 1. Oh, no, no, it's, it's a, it's like, hey, we're coming out for you, mech boy. You hear, you hear a, a different voice. Uh, I've been rolling a lot of 1s. <laughs> you should use that pink dice. That pink dice is doing really well. You need to get out of here. This is our place. The dwarves don't think it's your place. Yeah, well, the dwarves don't hear. How do you know I'm not a dwarf? Well, I speak in dwarvish. Yeah. What? <laughs> Come out and you won't be hurt. You make intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> with, with disadvantage because. <laughs> uh, I rolled a one and a four. This <laughs> <laughs> is like, what? No. no! You get out of here or we're going to crump you. You can try. Alright then. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm at eleven. All right. So as when they try to hit me. Yes. So the fight begins, and it's screaming. Out of the shadow, Mick sees it first appearing in front of him. You see this orc go, Wah! and charge towards Roosh. And he wields his uh, war pick in this instance. Uh, and he flails wildly at you and misses. <laughs> goes, oh shit! <laughs> oh, Zog! Uh, <laughs> Where's my clipboard? There it is. Um, Roosh, you are up next. I am up next. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take the dodge, dodge action. Okay. And, um... Can I, can I tell... What brand of orc he is? Uh, he definitely looks like a, a feral orc, like the ones upstairs. I thought the ones upstairs had a boss, though. They did. Right. Don't have his head anymore, do I? Oh, you do, I think. You just put it in your bag, I think, or something like that. Well, it, well, it is slightly melted now because of the... I will, I will spend my movement, then, fetching the... <laughs> <laughs> Digging the in your bag and the bag. pulling the bag out. Um, watching, but also fetching. 
Okay. Cool. So that's it. So yeah. All right. Dodge cool. action. And Dodge action and then yeah. Okay. That's that's fine. All right. Um. That is it for your turn. Yep. Um, Mick, you're up. You've seen this orc appear um, out of his visibility and dive behind the pillar and attack Grush. What would you like to do? I'd like to like try and rush at the orc and chop. Sure. So make your move. Axe it. Axe it a question. No, axe. Axe. Axe it a question. He can make a sen- he can essentially make a double move because of his um, as a bonus action he gets to charge as an orc. So yeah. Accent your question. Accent. Twice. You get you get advantage as well because you're flanking with Roosh. Yeah. So roll roll two dice, pick the highest number. Two pink dice. Do two pink. <laughs> the pink ones are good. Okay. Except for when they're not. <laughs> yeah, except for they're not. They haven't been not yet. Uh fifteen. Uh plus, plus six. Twenty one, that will definitely hit. Um you go again with my two dice Well, well do, roll, your, do your do your damage first, you might kill it, you don't know. Um, D12 for your great axe. D12 plus 3. The pink one closest to you. Yeah. Five. 8. 8 plus 3, so 11. Uh, uh, no, it was, that was a 5 plus 3. Oh, so 8 total, sorry. Yeah. Cool, cool. 8, yep, alright. He's still standing. Axe him again. Two deaths. Six is 18. 18, that hits. Another 8. Another 8, nice. Uh, he takes those two hits and, is, and glares at you angrily. He's like, Oi! Zoghead! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Stop hitting them. Um, from behind um, Mick, another orc. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be an old sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Hi, get off it!" <laughs> Short pile. <laughs> Conga. <laughs> you know what's next, Mendel? There's not one behind me. No, no, you need to be behind it. Behind it, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Mendel's <laughs> running across the field. Um. Uh, 21 to hit you. Oh, yeah, it hits me. It hits? All right. Uh, 2d8 plus 2. For his war pick, uh, 7 points of damage against you. Oh, sorry. All right. Um, and that is it for um, its attack. Um, yeah, back to... Uh, Mendel, you're up. <clears throat> Step here. And firebolt. Firebolt. From across the room. Very good. Uh, Seventeen to hit. Uh, that will hit. Eight points of fire damage. Eight. Which one are you shooting? The one the, that I can see. The back one. The one at the back. Mm. It's an orc pile. <laughs> <laughs> they better not all fall down on me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, back to the top. It's now the uh, the orc that's fighting against you. It's easy to see who goes next. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, he's going to turn around and attempt to smack Mick. And he turns and go, "Oh, you broken traitor!" Um, that's a nine plus six, seventeen. Sorry, uh, fifteen. No. Nope. Misses. All right. Cool. He swings up. Oh, zog. Uh, Roosh, you're up. <coughs> Pull the head out. Yeah. Okay. And I'll throw it on the ground in front of them. Mm-hmm. There's the last boss that I killed. Where's the next one? All right. Roll intimidation. <laughs> Can we say that bounced off the book and I can roll again? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe you can just roll into the book. You could you could ask you could ask um, Indy for her inspiration die if you like. If she's willing to give it up. Uh, no, that won't help. I 
I rolled a two. Very good. Um. I'm gonna step around. Where's the mm. middle? Sorry? I want to be in the middle of them all, but it's kind of hard because diagonals are shit. Hmm. Because if they were standing on three squares, then I could just step there. No, you I'd... can't. Cause, well, you'd have to go around the pillar. She's small, she can fit. Does a pillar take up all four squares? Yeah, technically. But again, it's not, it's not fully... Well, then I would go there. Yeah. I was saying, but again, it's not fully on all of the squares, though. That's the thing. So yeah. you could squeeze through. But yeah, if there were three in a row, then I could just stand there and mm. be able to hit these two with Word of Radiance. But because they're on a diagonal, I have to stand here. And then they're out of range. And I get an opportunity attack from them. So mm. it's kind of silly. Um... Well, if you were worried, that worried about, you know, min maxing everything, you'd probably just do what you want. I'm not that worried. Um, but yeah, I can't do what I want to do. So, um. Let's get a. That's right, I can't open the spells inside of the app, can I? I have to go into... What do you want to do? I want to look at the spell that I had prepared. Which is? Daylight. That's similar to Moonbeam, isn't it? No, it's like a blinding effect, isn't it? Mm. It's good for lighting up the area, but it's not going to do much mm. in this situation. Um. Uh, uh, daylight is 60 foot radius. Sphere of light spreads out from a point that you can yeah, choose within lights. range. Yeah. Uh, the sphere is bright light and sheds dim light for an additional 60 feet. Um, <clears throat> if you choose... I'll just get your orc. The orc um, behind. It's just Mick to make a saving throw. Sure. Looking between all of their legs, <laughs> aiming for the ankles. No, it's a two. <laughs> yeah, it's just daylight. Yeah. It's all well, light. It's bright light. Yeah. Uh, nine points of radiant damage on the end orc. The end orc. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, what the hell? Really difficult doing that voice. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, Mick, you're up. I'm in the middle of an orc sandwich, but you've never been happier. Mm. I might axe the other guy. <laughs> Yeah, but you have two axes, so you can axe, axe them both. You can axe you can, you can, you can axe them both. Yeah, like, like, you, you can axe one guy, you can axe the guy in front, then you can around and axe the other the guy behind you. So, axe them equally. Yes. Yeah, so the the guy in front you get advantage on, the guy um, behind is just a regular attack. Um, the advantage. Uh, that's sixteen. Yeah, that hits. Um, What's that? Oh, that's good. 12, 13, 14. 15. 15, nice. Uh, you axe the guy in front and your axe buries into his skull and he goes... <laughs> he goes, zog, and falls down dead. Yeah, yeah that's right. Um. Oh, that's 17. 17 plus 6. Yeah, that hits. Roll your damage. Gotta remember. 
Dark Fang fire on Pop. Oh, great. Uh, 15. <laughs> yep, yeah, and you, you, you hit both, both of them and knock them both down dead. And a rah! <laughs> <laughs> and you hear the king, king. You hear it stop. When you both shout your wah, you hear, and then you hear, I go down! <laughs> I get you they don't have anything being feral, but I'll check their bodies. Yeah, yeah they have uh, just their feral equipment. Yeah. yeah just that. Like a bone and um, bone and stone. Um, Despite uh, being in a forge. Yeah. <laughs> These are definitely not very bright. <clears throat> These are definitely not very bright horns. No. <laughs> I'll bring the map back up if you like. So you can... No, I'll stop the fight because you you killed them. So <laughs> Why talk when you can kill? Mm-hmm. We tried talking. They didn't want to listen. Yeah, <laughs> you just didn't talk. You very didn't well. talk very well. Yeah, I'll spin it around and you go the other way around. Well, I can't help what the dice do. Yeah. <laughs> Both of us rolling one on our intimidation is kind of. Yeah, pretty hilarious though. All right. Um, okay. So after you guys finish your, your scream, you hear the the echoing fade away, and you, and you hear this. Oh, you're telling you to shut up. I'm gonna yell. Then you hear ting, ting, ting. It goes back to hammering again. Oh, Were you gonna yell? Who telling to shut up? <laughs> Right, and you hear. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Um, what is his name here? Uh, I'm guessing that's yeah. not a dwarven forge. It's nothing. You friggin' is it? You you zoggin idiot! Now shut up! We're trying to work it. <laughs> Zoggin is you know what Zoggin is. It's the orc generic oh. It's a generic swear word for Zog. It's O oh, Zog, you Zoggin fool. Oh. Get the Zog out of here. You're an orc, you should know that. <laughs> I am a more refined orc. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> oh, they Zog. They mean Zog, not Zerg, it's Zog. <laughs> Hmm? Are we so, quite done yelling at uh, everyone else in here? What? Look, I asked you to lay off the condescension. You haven't been trying that. Nope, I can't say I have. And now's the time to try. What? I'm not the one yelling at the top of my lungs I in the have... middle of an enemy... <laughs> Damn forge! <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'd like to get out of this place alive. And don't be so condescending. So, shall we go to the tinking, or shall we snoop around the other areas? I personally would like to go towards the tinking, because where there's tinking, there's forging. And by the sounds of it, probably more orc. Dang, I was hoping there'd be dwarves. I couldn't understand anything anyone was saying then, but... Oh, that was dwarvish for don't come in here, this is your last warning. At the front door. In the grumbly voice. But, I think that was a pre-recording, because the orcs didn't understand when I spoke dwarvish to them, so... It'll just... It'll just weird about it. Um... Well, sounds to me that they, uh, the orcs were definitely not dwarves. Yes. It would seem that is the case. Given the Shall we go towards the tinking? I'll take that as a yes. Just make sure you're at least uh, 15 feet in ahead. Okay. 
okay. You just need to make sure you're 15 feet behind them. <laughs> Easy done. Yeah. All right, so you make your way towards the, uh, the double doors at the bottom. Double stone doors lead to a barrel full, uh, vaulted area containing several furnaces you may remove. Uh, Is it the whole? Yeah, that that's that one too. Yeah, take that off. And yeah, that's it. Uh, the eastern end of the chamber contains a large dark cave from which a cold wind moans. A stream of water rushes from west to east through the center of the room, crossed by two stone bridges. On the other side of the stream. Uh, three orcs work uh, at a roaring forge, beating a white hot blade into a sharp, uh, uh, into shape on an old anvil. It's the forge. And they haven't noticed you. You just open up the door. They're too busy working. So they have their backs to you. I suppose you're going to want to kill them too, aren't you? I prefer not to kill them, actually. I didn't want to kill the last ones. Mick didn't give me any choice. <laughs> well, we had to stop them from hitting us. But let, let's hit them less skull smashingly. Because we can't get more boys if they're dead boys. I don't think we will. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what orc politics are like, <laughs> but the one that hits the hardest is the one that wins. But if they're dead, then what's the point of winning? They stop hitting us. I suppose. So. Tink! 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 You see one of the orcs uh, in uh, that appears to be directing the other two has... Uh, Armor very similarly designed to mix armor. Is he a mech or is he a boss? Probably mech. Mech. So that's probably Mr. Snowden person. <laughs> Snowden. Snowden. <laughs> yeah, I like Snowden better. Though. Yeah. Yes. My name is Ed Snowden. <laughs> <laughs> I am making a device to steal the secrets yes. of this forge. Yes, I, yes I, am, I am hacking away to steal all of the secrets in here. <laughs> I don't load yes, them into yes, this axe. Yes. And I, unfortunately, after this, I have to go hide in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, that brings back a character. Uh-oh. Okay, anyway, um, focus, focus, can focus. I watch what they're doing and see how they're doing it and if they could doing, be doing it better. Sure. So, uh, from we'll make a perception check to see what you can see from this distance. Don't ask me to roll for this. <laughs> That's a kraken. That's a natural twenty. Natural twenty. All right. You, you see asked the, me to four. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you, you you see them working away, and they seem to be doing an okay job, but definitely a lot cruder than what you you would do yourself. You know, they're just getting like large chunks of metal, and you see, you can actually see on the the far wall, there's like a whole bunch of just crudely made axes and and swords. Very, very rough construction. Looks like they're being like churned out really, really quickly. Um, but you also see um, on the uh, lined up in front of one of the uh, the cooled forges, I should say, there is a um, a pile of uh, other equipment that doesn't look like it's been forged. It just looks like it's just like a pile of stuff that's been gathered up. Uh, but yeah, you could definitely think they they could be doing it better. From what what you can see, like they like they're not holding the metal right. They're um, you're not you're not quenching it enough. They're hitting it too hard. There's bits of metal flying. Too quick. Yeah, out too exactly. Quick. Yeah, yeah. They're 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 rushing through it. So they're not really paying much attention to what they're doing. Hmm. 
Um, so which four are they working at? Uh, they are working at the one directly across from you in the middle there. So these two are not in use? Correct. They're, they're cold. Um, yes. And there's another one. Uh, there's, there's two, yeah, the, yeah, all of them are cold. There's only the one forge that's actually being used. All the others are cold. Right. And as you're watching, you see this rat go. It just, it actually like stares at you and crosses its arms, and oh. it just, huh. and it just what, then it just wanders off. Can I give it the. Yeah, you can give it give it the finger thing, but it just it just sort of it looks at you and just goes, hey. and just wanders off and go, and goes and starts to it crawls up the leg of of the orc in the middle. And you get it good. Oi, what are you doing here? Well, we came to use the forge, same as you. Oh. Uh, oh, all right. Yeah. Um, what, what are you working on? Se- Severin? Uh, <laughs> Mr. S? Uh, Sn- uh, Snurvin. Snurvin. Yeah. Yeah, S N U R R E V I N. Yeah. I'm building a chopper. A chopper. Yeah. Is that one of them things on wheels? No, that, that that's a wagon. I keep getting these things mixed up. Or or a truck. But but I I but, but, what what are you doing? But to, those, the, those stupid boys. What, to, and who are you? Pointing at me. This is Mick. This is my Mick. Right, and you are? I'm the boss. I'm Boss Roosh. <laughs> he just tilts his head, and the rat on his shoulder tilts its head as well, looking at you. And this uh, is Mendel. Just, no, I'm like. So if you're like in the doors. Yeah, here, yeah, yeah. If you're here. I was thinking more like here. Yeah, I'm yeah, standing yeah. like here, leaning against the wall, just going. <laughs> 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 and I just say, just show him. Head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! So that Zog and Fool finally bought it, eh? <laughs> ah, right. So, what? So, and he look, points, points at me. He goes, but they did that? Yes. And you work for her. Yes. Or that. Well, I killed his boss as well, so... You've killed two bosses. Though. Yeah, we just didn't get the head of the first one because we didn't think it was necessary to have proof. It's kind of gross now. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they get that way. All right, well, as long as you, um, you st- stay away from our stuff. Where, where's your, where is your stuff? Everything over this side <laughs> is ours. Right. Can't come over the dotted line. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, stay, you stay over that side, that's, yeah. If you want to use the forge? Just not, yeah. As long as you don't, yeah. we don't. We don't want to mess with your stuff. Right. I'm looking for a thing, but it was made by the dwarves, so you probably haven't fiddled with it. Oh, yeah. Might want to talk to the dragon about that. King. King. Can, say, King. Hang on. Dragon. Yeah, dragon down the hole. Which hole? That hole. He points with his his hammer. And you look down the, the eastern side and there's this where the waterfall goes over the edge and there's this great big chasm. So, yeah, dragging down the hole. Right, yeah. I pro- <clears throat> yeah, I probably do want to talk to the dragon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, good uh, luck with that. I will need to cross the bridge to get to it though, will I? Or is uh, there another way? No, it's right. It's right. You, if, you want, if you want to go and visit the dragon, you're more than welcome to go. Just don't involve us. And if you're gonna, yeah, yeah. And if, if if you go down there, it'll be a good thing because that way it won't want to eat one of us and run out of boys to feed it to keep it calm. What what does it look like? I've never seen a dragon. Before. Uh, big wings, yeah. breathes fire. Yeah. Yeah. Blue. Can I try and drag the two dead orcs? You can if you like. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll go back into the room, I mean, pick the two leg like legs of the two dead orcs and just sort of start moving towards the door. Yeah, make string. Um, okay. 
13. 13? Cool. You can get one moving. So you, okay. Yeah, they're, very, they're quite heavy. I pull one. I get the other one. When we work out what you're doing. Oh, I'm just... Well, yeah, Someone but, you're, said but you're, you're with Roosh, yeah. so, yeah, so you wouldn't know what he's doing. Right, so, 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 this conversation, you see Mendel slowly... I heard someone say we need to bring a dragon a snack. I that, that'll do. Yeah. Hope you weren't wanting these, uh... These oh, ones. those zombie fools. Well, uh, Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Much obliged. Um... It's the last time we try and pay, yeah, get those, those boys to pay for, for guard duty. I said, yeah. <laughs> King. King. Might want to hire King. better help next time. Yeah, maybe, maybe. What are you making all the weapons for anyhow? For our war. But your war is my war now. No. No? no. Where's yeah. your war? Yes. You're looking at it. You know... Yeah. You the best war is the biggest war, and if you it, it, it starts, yeah, it's look, yeah, it's not, yeah, we're we're going for quality over quantity, and we figure if we make about seven choppers per orc per boy, that's seven <laughs> times the chopping we can do. <laughs> I like the fact that he said quality. <laughs> look, if if we go can... for quality, then I'm gonna have to give you some pointers before I leave. You think you can teach me, eh? I look, think I can. Look, look, look. All I'm saying is that if you were to, say, put these seven choppers with some of your boys, but then make seven more for each one of the boys that she has currently, you can have a, a ton of choppers and a ton yeah. of boys. Well, I don't see no boys. I see a mech and little grots and a chatty grot. <laughs> <laughs> You're the chatty grunt now. <laughs> <laughs> Suits me, well, fine. They um, they kind of don't fit very well in those corridors, so we left them upstairs with our wagon and our what are the two wheel things called? Um, bikes. Bikes? <laughs> yeah, all of the bikes we left them upstairs because they don't fit in. Ah, bikes. you must be evil sons. All right, we're the bad moon. Do you want to become evil sons as well? No, because we're bad moons. But we could just put a smiley face and then you're good beings. And if we make it a wiggly one, then it's an evil. Good it's just, and he's just glaring at you now. <laughs> like, you're insulting his honor at this stage. <laughs> Look, I, I'm bad at orc politics, okay? I don't, I'm new to being a boss. Obviously. Obviously. But look, like I said, if you want to show me what something you do, that's fine. If you want to go visit the dragon? That's fine. But you don't mess with my boys any more than you already have. Look, we would. We said we wanted to talk to the he, boss. He looks. He looks over at Mandel. He just goes, "Ugh." We said we wanted to talk to the boss, and they responded by jumping on us. So. Well, they no doing their job. I told him I didn't want to be disturbed. He's a dug Oh, when he turns around and the the metal's gone. Okay, so now look at you, darling. I gotta start all over. I'll show you how to do it better. It's okay. We'll go talk to this dragon. We'll be right back. All right. It, it's all I want to grab the leg of the other one. I can't quite drag him. Nick, would you like heavy. to grab the arm for us? Sure. <laughs> you you did put a a good job of putting a hammer in their heads. And axe um, in their heads. Um, strength? Oh, no. Yeah, eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. So, yeah, Mick just, <laughs> up, just, just walks in, holding, holding this dead boy over his, over his head. Alright, let's go talk to a dragon. Oh, good luck. Thanks. Tink, tink, tink. And I think, at that point, we will call it there. So you guys make your way through. And you see the chasm. The stream running through the old dwarven blade works meanders through a natural cavern before tumbling into a great chasm. You can see nothing but darkness below, although the splashing of water deep below is barely audible over the roar of the waterfall. And to the north of the chasm is a small ledge with a partially uh, that is partially hidden by a spur of rock. And that is where we will leave it for tonight. So, you finally made it 
into the foundry of the Forge Yay! of Fury. So <laughs> what was I in for? Coming in here again for? It's been so long.